What's up guys, Timmy here, and today I'm bringing you something a little bit special, uh, something I'm pretty interested in and anxious to talk to you all about, and it's um, the Wii U emulator. There's actually a Wii U emulator out now, guys, that is functioning, that's working actually really well, um, and I'm going to show you a little bit of uh, some Mario Maker here. I just got it all fixed up and it's running really well, I made my first level, and I just want to share it with you all and let you see exactly what it's about, and uh how fun it is and I'm pretty excited to see the future so uh, first things first I think I'm gonna go ahead and just play through my level right quick um, well actually here I'll do some a little bit of editing before I run through it so you can see how the creative mode works and how the um, how the emulator really does with the the gamepad emulation and stuff and see I kinda wanted to make this a little bit of a harder area so I'm gonna go ahead and delete all these guys because they're really not any harder stacked up than they were not stacked up. What was that? Anyways, so <coughs> I'm basically going to put, well I guess I didn't have to delete all those guys. Uh, I'm just going to give them all wings because when you do that they start like hopping around and I, I feel like just like four or five of the, the guys with wings hopping around is going to be more difficult than all those regular guys. So, um, we can, let's make a couple more of these too, because it's just not hard enough. Give it some wings, and I wish I had Bowser, but I guess you have to play a little bit longer to do that. All right, anyways, this is about the emulator, not the game. Um, but as you can see, I mean, it's running really, really flawlessly. I can put it in full screen mode and make it bigger, but I just kind of wanted to show you that it was playing on the computer, that it was PC and stuff, and I mean it runs so smoothly and the controls are, are so nice that it almost feels like I'm playing a game that was made for the PC, so it's really, really nice. Um, make sure that if you do get the emulator and you're wanting to try this out, that you, you know, stay in your legal, stay in, within the law, make sure you own a Wii U and you own the games first and, and all this stuff, so um, yeah, let's go ahead and play through it and see how it goes. We'll click start and we'll click play. We'll see how it goes. Fireballs. Let's go. Oh, what kind of. That was the lamest jump I've. Wow. I'm in, that was embarrassing. Let's try it again. And the cool thing about this is um, the. The version that I, I'll put the link to the official website and uh, and it, it has the official releases and stuff there for download. But the strange thing is, um, oh no, I fell to the uh, pit of death here. But the weird thing is, yeah, I'm gonna have to put a block there or something just in case this happens, so you can actually get back up. <laughs> but uh, the weird thing is that when you when I got the official release from the official website in the latest version it didn't work and then I found I saw these other people that were saying that they had a, a version that was higher than the version that I was using which was very strange because you know I just said I got the latest version so I, I snooped around and looked and noticed that the, the developer actually has a a patreon page set up and if you want to be um, a donator for like five dollars you can get the a uh, later release uh earlier you can get the official release earlier than anybody else gets it i think it's a week week before anybody else does excuse me and uh for ten dollars you you get that plus you get your name put into the emulator uh donator section and all this stuff so it's really cool and it's, a, it's an easy way to kind of show your support for this guy because i mean honestly the the progress and the speed at which he's making the progress is really is really incredible especially considering like the Wii emulator the dolphin oh, um, emulator and how how many how long it took for that to really get to where it was kind of playable and people still have problems with it and I'm running this on a on a machine that's really not that great I mean it's got a decent um, GPU but my processor is like very old and it's not great so I mean and I'm still able to play this there are a lot of games that are kind of still 
they're working glitches out and stuff for them. Um, but there are a lot of games that still that really do work really well, just like this one. And you might notice like a little bit of lag or a little bit of frame drops here because I'm recording while I'm playing. But for the most part, especially when I'm not recording, it plays very smoothly. And uh, so, yeah, I'm really impressed with it. And I just wanted to show you guys exactly what's going on with it. Uh, and before we go, there's one thing I, one last thing I kind of wanted to show. Um, you can switch between game modes pretty easily. I mean, even with my, my system as being as old and it's not very beefy at all, um, it can still do this and switch between the game modes and all that. And it, and I'm recording right now, so, um, it's just really cool to see it, all that happening. But anyways, I'm done failing at my own level. <laughs> this was the first level I ever made. It's a lot of fun. It's kind of addicting. Um, but yeah, I'll put all kinds of links down in the description for anything that you might need to know. Um, if you have any questions, comments, please leave them below and I'll try to help the best that I can and help you guys get involved with this because it's really cool. I'm anxious to see the progress that's being made and I'll try to keep videos um, posting you guys with the updates and letting y'all know how it's going and any kind of uh, news that I've heard or found out or any kind of tricks that I've found to make it work better. But uh, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Peace.